Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MT Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to resolve an application that might be delivering the error results that this app has been blocked for your protection. So I know this error might be apparent in earlier versions of Windows, but it seems like Windows 10 you get this sometimes a little bit more frequently. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve this error alert. And typically this will actually be done when you're using an administrative account and even if you've disabled or modified your user account control settings and you're still receiving this error this tutorial will hopefully walk you guys through how to resolve it okay so what we're going to do is start by right clicking on the start button and then left click on command prompt admin in this new user account control window you want to hit yes Okay, so now that we are in an administrative command prompt window, we want to type in net space user administrator. Another space forward slash active. And then you want to do a colon and then yes. Please note there's no space in between active and yes. The colon separates the two. And then once you're done doing that, just hit enter on your keyboard. So we can see the command has completed successfully. Now at this point you can close out of the command prompt window. Then you want to make sure you log into an administrative account by clicking on this little icon of a person. You want to make sure you are an administrator. Okay everybody I'm back. So we have signed into our administrative account. At this point you are going to want to install the software or run the executable that you were attempting to run earlier. Once you're done running it, hopefully the error should be resolved. At this point you want to go back to the start menu and you want to swap back into whichever account you were using prior. So just click on the little person icon in the circle. This will load this new window and then just select whichever account you want to sign back into. There's a couple more things we have to do at this point, but first let's just get back into our user account. So now that we've signed back in, what we want to do is reopen an elevated command prompt. So we're going to right click on the start button again, select the command prompt admin from this menu. Now we want to disable the hidden administrator account that we just created earlier. Please keep in mind the account that we just were on was typically hidden, so if you're receiving any notifications like walking you through the installation of Windows or something like that, you basically were accessing an account that you probably have never accessed before. So that's why it looked like it was a brand new version of Windows 10. But right now we're going to disable that or hide it because there's really no purpose to have it here anymore. So what we're going to do is type in net and then space user administrator and then do a space forward slash active and then you want to do a colon no and then hit enter on your keyboard so then that should disable our hidden administrator account and this should hopefully resolve our problem so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video goodbye